Welcome to this video on how to make a Padlet timeline. So I'm going to get to Padlet by Googling, of course. Click on the Padlet link. It will take us to our Padlet dashboard. You can log in using an SPS email. We're going to click on Make a Padlet. And we're going to scroll down to the Timeline option. It's going to generate a new timeline for us. So over here is where we can do some initial editing and formatting. So the title of my Padlet it's going to be Kanye Quest Discography. Clearly I've practiced, so here's the name already popping up. And the description, I'm going to say some of Kanye's albums. Now we're going to go down. I'm going to change the wallpaper just to a solid color, because that's just what I'm going to go with today. But this is where you can get some fun creative backgrounds. You can also change your font change your color scheme, do that all over here. But for me, this looks good for now. Next, okay. So now it's time to start posting on our timeline. So to post, you click on this plus. It's gonna pop up this little icon. So Connie's first album is College Dropout. Comes out in 2004. Now, to, we of course want to add an image, spice up our timeline. So there's going to be lots of options. You can upload a picture from your computer, a link. I'm going to Google image search. It's already auto searched for me based on the words I typed in in the title. I'm going to take away the 2004. Maybe that'll help narrow my search down. That looks good to me. All right, and then you can write a description down here. You can delete this post if you want to just change it up. Anything like that. You can also go back and edit and do that after you've already made it. Now we're going to add another one. Next album is called Late Registration. Comes out in 2005. Same thing. Want to add a photo? It's going to have auto searched it again. So helpful. Add a add one of the images. All right. After that one, next we have Graduation. Comes out in 2006. This is also the icon for the Google. Okay, and graduation is a pretty gen general term, so I would get a little bit more specific with my search. Maybe do co comma Kanye West. All right, there it is. That's what I'm thinking of when I think of Kanye West graduation. For next, we'll have 808s and Heartbreak. Comes out in 2008. Alrighty, there we go. That one works. Works for me. Okay, and then we'll add another one. Next was my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Great search. It's going to come up hopefully. Perfect. Use this one. Awesome. It's a little bigger, but you know, it's kind of fun. It's changing the sizes of our icon, timeline icons, things like that. Next, we add Yeezus, 2013. Oh, perfect. Add a picture. Awesome. And I realized I didn't add the date onto this one. And that's, of course, important when we're making a timeline. So now I can go back and edit at 2010. Oops, 2010. And we're good. Okay. And then we'll do Life of Pablo. Come out. Came out in 2016. Great. Do one last little search. <laughs> Some of these are funny. I'll just go with this one. All right. And I think that's going to be good for my timeline. You can go back and forth, kind of click around. You can drag, like I was saying, mix things up. But of course, on a timeline, we want chronological order. And then when it's time to share, you can go here. You can copy your link to the clipboard, so you can copy and paste it in the assignment that you need to turn it in on. You can email it. You can share it in a lot of different ways. You can add people, I'm sure, by adding their email. So that would be how you would share it when you're done. And that's how you can make a Padlet timeline. Thanks for joining me today, everyone.